Hello everyone. So this video is dedicated to explaining how I use Vim as an IDE for Golang development. Actually, this uh, was triggered by a question asked on Reddit where uh, the person uh, Wibbly Wobbly Yang was asking that how is uh, he is moving from Goland now he wants to get into Vim so how should he set up the Vim so let me explain it uh, this way so I'm not a pro at Vim I've been using it for let's say around uh, around uh, six months now uh, but I'm very happy and this is my full-time ID now and here I'll explain how my workflow goes so I can take an example of a project by showing you uh, I'm using a custom script called FD which uses uh, uh, FZF to go to a directory except CD so it is CD using FZF which is fuzzy finding uh, if you give some time to index uh, now you can search the project that I'm looking for is note ledger a project that I have been working personally for taking notes all around the internet I could have used CD to get there but uh, let me show her so it is already indexed it now I can see it here I should probably add more ignore cases to make it faster but anyway I'm using this is iterm2 on vshell uh, powerline fonts plugin manager oh my zsh so this is how it looks uh, I can probably use a different terminal to show it as well let me try that then you can see the full screen experience I didn't mean to Okay, so I'm in that directory only. Now, if I do vim dot, you'll see this uh, this file explorer I'm using. Obviously, the very famous nerd tree. Then, for opening any file, if I go to pkg, this is the directory. Now, if I want to open it in a now in a, in a uh, horizontal in a vertical split I'll do s now it is open I typically use control WW to toggle between uh, splits but here I have mapped such a way that you can do control and H to go from left to right HJKL works as it should so now if I do control H I'm here now I'm doing control L I'm here so this is how I'm moving just like how you'll move in uh, Vim normally now if I want to open the second file which is node.go uh, if I want to open it uh, let's say in a um, horizontal split I'll do I now it is in horizontal split if I again go back here and maybe like in the response and if I open the factory in a vertical split I'll again do S if I am closing it, I'll do Control Q. If I get here, I can again close Nerd Tree this way. Now, if I see, uh, I have few things available, so uh, I can obviously import. So I'm the plugin that I'm using the most. I'm grateful to is Vimgo. Uh, let me first show how I'm doing things. So the person's primary question was uh, auto completion on dot. So if you see it here, so these are the plugins I'm using. My Vimrc is there on GitHub, but not public. But I'll 
make it public so that maybe I can help him. I'm using Groovebox. This is for auto pairs. This is split join because most of the times I see that I don't want I want to split it vertically or horizontally. This is the most important plugin uh, FZF. I'll show multiple use cases. Killer ship is just a, a game. I mean, it's fun. Uh, let me show it quickly. So this is how you play. Let me open it. So th th that's the game fugitive I'm using for a Vim wrapper. Airline is the one that is giving design to my fonts, my status line, nurtery obviously for file exploration and the most important plugin Vimgo. Color scheme groove box. For the other aspects, uh, this uh, this part, this segment of VimRC comes from MIT lecture on why you should use Vim and that was really an eye opener. Everyone should definitely check it out. It is available on YouTube. Just search uh, Missing Semester and you'll see a playlist and watch the Vim one. And this is mostly common. I'm using uh, compatibility as uh, uh, this one. Uh, th these most of the things should be clear. I'm just setting relative number, last status and things like that. Other than that, I just forced myself to use uh, HJKL. I wanted to, I wanted not to have this option of using arrow keys. Now this go import just like in Goland, if you just save your file, it will do your imports. Similarly here, if I just save the file, it will uh, trigger go import and import the required libraries. Here, just like you'll do maybe uh, as in VS code, we used to do uh, command click to go to definition. Here also you can do GD to get into the definition. But additionally, if you want to open the definition in a Horizontal split, you'll do uh, this DS, DV, and DT to opening in, in a new tab. This control G is for uh, toggling the nerd tree. I'll demo it more uh, in uh, the other aspect. Let me just explain this part here for now. This, I just uh, designing the power line, uh, sorry, the airline setting the fonts and dimension and the which theme you are using and here you see this is the line which gives you because this is one of the questions raised by the person that how you will do auto completion on dot so this is the line which does the trick and also uh, it also goes for selecting the one which is the which is of maximum match if you just keep typing it then again from the options that pops up you can do control n to go to the next one control p to go to the previous ones and this is c specific now let me show demo here so this is the file i'm using so if you see i can do different stuff like what is the time now? Here you will see I will do dot auto completion. I want to do time dot now. I want now to pop up automatically. Let I just I am just hitting dot. You see all of the functions just came up. Now I am doing and as I type more it gets the match more. This is how you will do tab auto uh, dot auto completion. Now if I want to import something I can do go import maybe farm package is already imported so let me show if I want to import let's say um, let's say log you see that log is imported but if I save it will go away because it is not used just like how you would expect it to be then again if I do control G uh, our nerd tree opened up now another interesting thing I would like to show that uh, you, if you want to search for a particular file, 
uh, you can do fuzzy finding using just FZF and now you can open things open file sorry just capital FZF now if you want to open anything let's say I want to open notes repo I can just do NREP and you'll see notes repo is there but but the important thing which took me a while to figure out that um, how to search for a particular keyboard a uh, particular keyword in a project so let's say i want to search for a particular keyword which uh, uh, let's say add note L let me just close this tab uh, and i want to search for a file which says add note I don't I don't know where it is it might occur in multiple places uh, and, and this uh, finding this one which is very easily available in VS code this took me a while to figure out in Vim but I'm happy that I did so it is available in FZF plugin for Vim uh, which is actually using zip grip for searching and then doing fuzzy finding over the result so for that you'll do RG and the keyword that you want to search for which is add note if you hit enter it is so damn fast and then it will also show you preview that where all this is present and this is a very neat feature uh, which helps us figure out wherever the file is and it will uh, it's very fast you can use grep as well in my channel you'll find the video for finding the same having the same functionality using grep as well so autocomplete is done, file explorer, global project search is done. I showed you how you can search for files using FZF and content of a file using RG. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you have any doubts. Um, you can do, uh, this is fugitive for showing the status. But again, I mean, I'm doing my full-time development in Veeam and I'm not using anything else right now for development and I'm very happy because if required I can just open up my terminal do my stuff and uh, get back here again so this is a very neat feature but if you have any more comments like how you want to do some more aspect about doing Golang development in Vim, please let me know. And I'm also a newcomer, uh, I'm also learning every day, trying to improve my speed, optimizing it further. Uh, but I'll be glad if I can help somehow. Uh, just let me know. Thank you so much.